Nairobi County has been on the limelight this week after the abrupt resignation of Education CEC Janet Ouko. Nairobi Governor Mike Mbuvisonko on Wednesday highlighted that there was alleged corruption that has seen the resignation of Ouko. The Vision 2030 youth Edward Gidaiga has echoed the alleged claims and he asked Ouko to respond to unresolved issues in her ministry. Why did she resign? So after going through and asking questions in the county offices, what really happened, we came to discover that at the education department there was corruption that was going on. And this corruption started way back in 2013 with the previous government of Governor Kidero, whereby the bursary that was for needy students was not getting to these needy students. Edward highlighted that they have evidence of the alleged corruption and the bursaries intended for needy children were not reaching them, claiming that there were a group of people working hand in hand with the county education officers. As recent as uh, this year, as recent as this year, 2018, a check was withdrawn from the Nairobi County Development Fund of 25,000 shillings put in to another account called Bo? Pogudo. Pogudo Educational Center. As, I don't know whether it's a school or it's just a name. They have given an ultimatum of 72 hours to the former education CEC to respond to their pending question or they will have demonstrations. If you know you're innocent, just do a good report, give us an answer, and we are giving exactly 72, uh, 72 hours so that we can be able to get our answers in full. And if not so, then we will tell the government that we as young people will come to these streets of Nairobi and have a peaceful demonstration. As all guns are pointed to Ouko, the Vision 2030 youth have called upon the Auditor General to look into the matter as pending investigation by EACC. Abdiaziz Ashim, Ibru TV.